physicsninja.org. Hi, today we're going to have some fun with numbers, and I want to teach you a little trick on how you can square a number that ends with 5. So here's a nice little example. I want to square 45. So I want to multiply 45 times 45. The first thing to know about anytime you square a number that ends with 5, it's always going to end in 25. And think about the 25 will come from just multiplying the last two, two fives. All right, 5 times 5 gives me 25. So all we really have to do now is we just need to determine, we need a quick way to find out what number goes in front of the 25. And 25 comes from 5 times 5. So to get the number that goes in front of the 25, all you have to do is instead of using the first two numbers, instead of multiplying 4 times 4, what you do is you simply add 1 to the top number and then multiply those two. So you'd simply multiply four. You don't multiply four times four, you multiply four times five, you would get 2025 would be your answer. Very, very simple way. So try, try another one. What if we had 25 multiplied times 25? Again, we're always interested in squaring numbers that end with five. So again, it always ends with 25. And instead of multiplying two times two, what you do is you simply add 1 to the top number and you multiply 2 times 3. Uh, the answer is 625. Okay, here are a couple more examples. So we've got 15 times 15, 55 times 55, 65 times 65, 85 times 85. Again, we're squaring numbers that end with 5. The answer is always going to end with 25 for every single case you're going to look at. Now to get the number in the front, instead of multiplying 1 times 1, I add 1 to the top number. So in this case, I'm going to multiply 1 times 2. I get 225. How about this one? Instead of multiplying 5 times 5, I have to add 1 to the top number and then multiply them. So I get 5 times 6 is 30, 30, 25. Instead of multiplying 6 times 6, you add 1 to the top number. You're going to get 42, 25. And the last one clearly is simply 7225. So there you have it folks, a nice little trick to square numbers that end with five.